it would be, it would go on to become kind of one of the cornerstones of Stupid Mac. Um, I always kind of say this for people that I consider to be family or really my closest, closest friends. Tonight, there are so many people here that I would put on that list. And so obviously I can't, I can't thank everybody for everything that they've done for me, which has been so much. So I'm just going to choose two tonight. First of all, I would like to dedicate this song to um, a, a girl, a lady, a girl. Her name is Jada. She wrote the most beautiful article about me. She followed me around for three days, and I thought, she says she's 35 years old or 30 years. She doesn't even, you know, and it come to find out that she got it. She got something that nobody that's ever written about me before has ever gotten, and I just wanted to tell her how much I appreciate that, that I'll never, ever forget it. It lives in my journal. It goes from journal to journal. Her name is Jada, and I want to thank you so much, my friend. Secondly, I'd like to dedicate this to a man whose name is Doug Morris. He um, was the president of Atlantic in 1980, well, 81, 80, 79, when I signed my deal for my solo career. And he was the one who basically told me that I could have both, that I could have a solo career, that it would not mess up Fleetwood Mac, which it never did, right? <laughs> but Dad said, you can do both. You can fit in both in and you can be great at both. And he made, he gave me, um, he gave me a vehicle for all of those many songs that could not fit on Fleetwood Mac records because we had three writers. And he gave that to me. And it's the greatest, really, the greatest gift that anybody has ever given me. And so, Mr. Doug Morris, wherever you are, somewhere in this crowd, thank you for that gift. This is Nancy. Thank you. 
Yeah. 